Hello everyone and welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. Today we're going to be talking about an advanced fighting technique that I rarely see anyone using when I go out into multiplayer. And so I thought to myself, while people probably don't realize this is, a, you know, it's an available technique, you know, because they don't actually teach you how to do this in the hunting, you know, the hunting notes or whatever. And so somebody really has to introduce it to you and I'm hoping that that's what I'm doing today. So the first time I ran into this technique, I found it on Reddit Monster Hunter World, right? And the second time I ran into it was because of a speedrunner. His name, he has a YouTube channel. His name is TSC. If you haven't seen his stuff, go over there, give it a like, tell him I said hi. And yeah, so he does something that he calls aerial greatsword or aerial hammer or aerial gun lance. He does a terrific job of it. He's clearly been practicing it for a long time. And I feel like, uh, you know, f anyone can really enjoy the benefits of these techniques. And so what I'm going to do is teach you exactly how to get it done. There's only a few weapons that are actually able to do this. And the reason why they're able to do it is because on their jump attacks, they actually have forward momentum. And this is what allows you to jump back onto the ledge that you started on. So you're going to jump off of a ledge and you're going to jump back onto it while you're attacking. Three weapons do this. The hammers, the great swords, and the gun lances. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over each one of them. Let's go ahead and start with the hammers. The hammers are the least complicated. Basically, you have your right trigger charge attack with the hammer, right? And you're able to use this in the air. So when you're near a ledge, you just omnidirectional jump off the you know ledge, whichever way you need to. And when you use your charge attack, be sure to point the control stick in the direction that you want to charge. So if you roll backwards, once you've, you know, once you're done rolling backwards, point your joystick forward and start your charge attack up, and this is going to allow you to jump way over to the ledge. I feel like the hammer has the easiest time using the, uh, whatever you want to call this, you can call it ledge hopping, ledge spamming, or you can just call it aerial attacks. The problem I have with the name aerial attacks is because technically every weapon has an aerial attack, right? There are a lot of aerial attacks in the game, and I know what TSC is referring to when he says aerial. It's just that ledge spamming or ledge hopping, I feel like that actually that actually gives you more details or specific details as to what's happening when you're fighting. So anyways, yeah, when you're practicing ledge hopping, the hammers, I think, they have it the easiest, right? You, the charge attack, you just point wherever you want to go. It'll be like Mario. You're going to get a double jump right in the air right on the monster. You jump over to the great swords. I, I said jump over, right? There's a little pun. They're a little trick here. That's what I found. Similar to the hammers, you're going to be omnidirectional rolling off of the cliff, whichever way you need to roll. But with the great swords, I felt like I needed to start charging up the aerial attack right away. So as soon as I rolled off, if I didn't hit, well, it's Y on the Xbox and it's triangle on the PlayStation. If I didn't hit that button immediately, and hold it down, I wasn't actually going to get the forward momentum from the move. Failure. So if you, if you do it right away, you roll and then immediately hit Y or triangle, you'll start charging and you'll be given a little bounce right back toward the ledge. But if you wait a second, you'll actually fall straight down. And I don't know why that is. Uh, I'm not an expert on great swords. I haven't played with them a lot. So I, I couldn't tell you that, but that's just the way it is. And so if you want to practice it, take it to the training room and screw around with it yourself. Now you know it exists. And the last one I think is probably the most powerful one or the most game changing one. So hammers are okay. If you don't learn aerial attacks with hammers, you're going to be fine. But gun lances do it so fast that I feel like it could almost be a defining feature of their actual gameplay. Like it's an actual whole strategy with this weapon. And believe me, even though in multiplayer you're not going to be able to kite the monster that you can, like in a speed run, you can really kite a monster in a speed run. But even in multiplayer, you know, if, if the monster goes down by ledge, which happens all the time, you can still abuse it in multiplayer. You just don't get to abuse it as often. So with the gun lances, it's a little more complicated. Gun lances and lances, they have back hops. And one way to perform a back hop, if you haven't attacked, is to take your finger off of the control pad, or the joystick, I mean, so your character will be standing in a neutral stance, and you click the jump button, right? The button you use for evading. This is going to cause your character to do a small back hop, and you're going to do that right by the ledge. It'll cause you to hop off of the ledge. It's very easy to do if you climb onto the ledge, and then from there, you just choose a neutral dodge. 
you'll dodge off of the ledge, you'll cause a hop, and then you'll immediately use right trigger to use the, uh, I think it's called jumping smash. Right, so use jumping smash, and what's so interesting about jumping smash is it comes out immediately, and that's really important. The very, very, very short animation for the attack means that you can spam it very fast because the back hop has a very short animation as well. So the gun lance's ability to ledge hop or aerial attack, in my opinion, is a little faster than the hammer and the great sword, and I think that it's just, it's a very cool play style that you really need to go check out. Go Again, go to the training room, give it a try, and uh, tell me what you think of it. Now you know about it. And what's so interesting, another thing that's really cool about the gun lance is uh, after you've used your jumping smash, you can even lead up into a combination with the wide sweep attack. So it's terrific for, for especially for gun lance builds where it's, you're not doing shelling, you're doing like a physical build. Really, really great. All right, so kind of a shorter video today. I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about. I just knew I wanted to teach you guys something that maybe you didn't know about, and I hope this brings some light to it. And again, I think we should give some credit to TSC. He's the guy out there actually using it. And so now you guys know a little bit more about it, and you guys can use it as well, and I hope you guys do, because I never run into you guys in multiplayer. Maybe you guys know it, and you just don't use it. I know I run into plenty of great swords, hammers, and gun lances. I just never see anybody abusing this technique. All right, well, that's everything I have to say. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much! Ooh.